As expected, last week's Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas was all about tablets. Rival devices to Apple's iPad will be coming out throughout 2011, and with CES over, the shape of the market is looking a little clearer. Some of the biggest buzz at the show was for Honeycomb, version 3 of Google's Android operating system and the first developed for tablet PCs rather than smartphones. Motorola's Zoom, which will use the software, was unveiled at CES and is due to be launched in the next few months. Up till now, these tablets have basically been big smartphones. And for the first time this spring, we'll start to see tablets like the Motorola Zoom that run on a version of Android that is really much better suited for that screen size. At least two other vendors, Toshiba and Asus, also demoed Honeycomb tablets and more are on the way, but it won't be the only technology taking on the iPad. Research in Motion, which makes the BlackBerry smartphone, has its playbook that runs on a proprietary platform. And Hewlett Packard has promised a tablet based on the WebOS software it purchased from Palm. We see this becoming a three horse race pretty quickly. We see iPad leading, and then Motorola and BlackBerry Research in Motion tablet um, duking it out for, for second and third place. Um, HP, which is, who is not showing at CES, is kind of a wild card here. The first iPad competitors are due to hit shelves in the next few months, by which time many expect Apple will have announced an update for its tablet. By the end of the March, we will see probably the iPad 2, as well as then we'll have the release of uh, the Motorola uh, tablet based on Honeycomb, the Zoom. We will also see the release at that point of Playbook. So. At that point in time, I think it is a good time to buy because there will be a lot of choices from a lot of different vendors. Uh, later in the year, I think we're going to see lower prices, to be honest. So if you want to wait to let these guys battle it out and keep undercutting each other on 